Hailed as the savior of Southern agriculture, George Washington Carver was a scientist, botanist, educator, and inventor. He became the first black man of science to emerge as an American folk hero. The exact date of his birth is unknown, but he's believed to have been born before slavery was abolished in 1864 in Diamond, Missouri. Carver developed a strong interest in plant life at an early age. He worked his way through high school and college and eventually received a master's degree in agriculture from Iowa State College in 1896. That same year, he accepted a teaching post at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama and became director of the school's agricultural research program. He also managed the school's two farms, ran his agricultural experiment station, and extended the benefits of the Tuskegee research program to poor black farmers in outlying areas. He wanted poor farmers to grow alternative crops, both as a source of food and as a source of other products to improve their quality of life. In addition to Carver's work on agriculture, his important accomplishments include improvement of race relations, mentoring children, poetry, and religion. He was an example of the importance of hard work, a positive attitude, and a good education. Carver's efforts to improve the fortunes of black people ultimately turned him into a living legend. A deeply religious and humble man, he was eccentric as he was charming. Carver captured the nation's fancy as a creative chemist who found hundreds of new uses for the peanut, sweet potato, and other crops. About a hundred products made from peanuts that were useful for the house and farm, including cosmetics, dyes, paints, plastics, gasoline, and nitroglycerin. One of his most important roles was in undermining, through the fame of his achievements and many talents, the widespread stereotype of the time that the black race was intellectually inferior to the white race. In 1941, Time Magazine dubbed him the Black Leonardo, a reference to the Renaissance polymath Leonardo da Vinci. Carver's popularity eventually surpassed his scientific achievements, yet his desire to help the man furthest down never diminished. Throughout his life, the Wizard of Tuskegee pursued his lab and field work the same way he embraced humanity and nature, with wonder and affection. We are grateful to George Washington Carver for his many contributions to our history in black.